Simeon, Levi, Judah, Ishakar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali. Whew! Time for a break. I always try to take a break when I'm reading a lot of names in the Bible because if I don't, then my brain gets too full. And maybe you've experienced this when you read a list of Bible names. And sometimes, don't you kind of wonder why this stuff's in the Bible? I mean, I get it when I'm reading about Jesus and all the wonderful things he does, but why this list of names? Sometimes it just seems weird. Well, Paul wrote in his second letter to Timothy that all scripture is inspired by God and useful to teach us. So that must mean there's something in these names. So it's tough to believe, though, when you're reading the Old Testament and you read someone's name like Maher Shalal Hashbaz, um, how does this apply? Well, one time Jesus put it like this. Uh, he had been crucified and he rose again, but people didn't know it yet. And there were some people that were walking along that used to be his followers and still were if they knew it. Um, were walking along and they were really sad. And Jesus came up and walked with them. And somehow he disguised himself so they didn't know it was him. I don't think he wore a wig and like some of those funny glasses with a nose. But he disguised himself. And he's walking with them and he's like, you know, why are you guys so sad? And they said, well, are you a newbie here? What's going on? Like Jesus died and we really had our hopes that he was going to be the Messiah. And now he's dead and everything's gloom and doom and, and kind of all our hopes are dashed. So then Jesus does a really cool thing. He begins to talk to them using the Old Testament scriptures. And the Bible here says that he began all the way in the back and taught his way all the way through the scriptures and showed them how they all applied to him. And when they got done and he let them know who he was, they're like, hey, I knew there was something about that guy. Weren't, wasn't it really excited when he was talking to us about the scriptures? And, you know, that's how the Bible, that's what the Bible really is about. It's not just a collection of random stories and a list of names here and, you know, something there. But it's really all one story about Jesus. So when I'm reading that list of names that I was reading, that's Jesus' family tree. And when I read some other things in the Old Testament, that's prophecy about Jesus. And, of course, it's obvious when Jesus is on the, on the screen, so to speak, that it's about Jesus. But that's what the entire Bible is. And incidentally, that name, Maher Shalal Hashbaz, is a real Bible name. It's in Isaiah chapter 8. Look it up. Um, until next time, remember this. The entirety of the Bible is an awesome book about Jesus. Have a great week, everyone. Thank you.